because it's 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 important for wand and wand maybe like our key to this run like if it if it works out like if it works out it's gonna be great if it doesn't work out then my bad but i feel like wand is gonna be like important to this run so come on come on level 23 level 23 level 23 Here's, here's boss, here's boss. Boss is in a perfect spot. Like, literally perfect spot, so. Come on. There we go. Alright, so... We could do Bracer. We could do Bracer in this case. That's a possibility. Is it Sovlevsky? Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate the math out of you. Thank you for the shout-out, Diesel. Hi. Hello. You were playing Pokemon trading card that. game. Were you legit? Were you like opening packs or were you like, were you playing or? Most people are opening packs, right? I feel like this is the thing. Hi, welcome to stream, everybody. My name is Chill with Sad Dad. Most people just call me Sad Dad or Dad. Either is fine. We usually like to have a chill time around here. We also like to talk about a lot I of fun things. Fun like so oh, I yeah, hope I'm having a fun time. Y'all have. Oh, <laughs> um, we stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 p.m. Central European time. Um, we that's for most people. It's about like 1 p.m central standard um and i know that's kind of weird but um being military I, I i i i like to give people both the the u.s time zones i hope everyone's having an amazing fourth of july i hope you had a great time some packs after vampire survivors that sounds like a pretty dope setup not to not to excite anybody okay because i don't know how much you guys are into T tcg i'm very new i'm trying to get my son um uh, i'm trying to build my son a deck right now so like this is legit. This is legit. So I'm building him an Urshifu deck, and we're giving him. Um, I'm giving him like packs at a time, so he can open packs like he wants, and then um, and then I'm gonna build him a deck. Cause I taught him how to play like the the actual game. Cause I I remember when I played when I was a kid. So that's the goal. Build him a Urshifu deck, and then he'll rock some faces off with his friends at school. Okay. Make sure. Make sure. He's rocking some faces off, all right? You see some 25th stuff? You do. Yeah, look. We have a binder of it, but this is like, this is like, this is like the, the, the big reward at the end of the day. And then like, he's like, like when, so I, so I help him fill his book with stuff that I find. Um, and so I, so I got it. Like he has a bunch of this stuff, but, um, but he doesn't have this yet. So this is the, this is like, you know, like if you have like a really good week or like, so you get something at school or something like that. So that's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> gotta make sure, gotta make sure you have rewards. I remember opening packs as a kid and like, I was just always excited. Um, but for anybody joining us just now, um, I, I, I do appreciate you joining me. If you are still on a referral link, make sure you click that link and hop into the chat so I can see you here. Um, not so I can be like, like, hey, I see you, but like more just so it counts you as a view. Um, just a little bit about what we're doing right now. We're playing Vampire Survivors, but we'll be hopping into a brand new game in just a moment. And then we'll be doing some more challenge runs right after that. Um, and then and then. Looks, I'm thinking this Wednesday we might play some Plague Tale. We've been playing Plague Tale recently, um, and then we might we might finish it this week. So if you are into um, uh, some neato burrito games like Plague Tale, which are kind of creepy horror, um, boy, we'll definitely do that. That's how I started opening packs again. I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh back in the day. I can I can I can show you. Hold on, can can I show you something? Hold on, I don't know. Maybe I can. Y'all, y'all, I clicked retro games and consoles. That's fine too. That's fine too. I was, I was into TCG all like all throughout my childhood. Okay. So anytime I got the chance, I always had TCG. And so this is my still existent, um, Yu-Gi-Oh deck. I had a noble knight set. And so you had basically 
like your King of the Noble Knights. Um, you had King Artorius as well. And then Silent Honor Arc as well. Um, your Constellar Omega. And then you had like your 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 your, your, your Gwenfear as well. Um, Excalibur. Like this like the whole night the whole noble knight set. King Arthur. Black Ship of Corn. Yeah. Um Gandiva. And then Gaga Ga Ga Cowboy, one of my favorites. And so the the whole concept of this deck, if you're not familiar with it, is basically what you want to do is you uh you use like your noble arms to power up all of your all of your knights. And so those give them like they'll give them like attack points or they'll give them like special features. Um you have Parador, but they're all based off of the Knights of the Round Table. And so like the whole concept of this deck is like you're kind of like powering them up with swords. And it felt like very RPG to me. So it was one of my favorites to do. Noble Arms of Destiny. Noble Noble Knight Driston. So like they're all based off of like real people, of course. And then like it, you basically like you 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 rank up, you rank up the whole deck. I remember getting like I remember getting like second in a tournament and then I got trashed by the next tournament because I thought my deck would still be decent. So <laughs> so um Yu-Gi-Oh is different now. Yu-Gi-Oh is a bit different now for sure. <laughs> I'd say it's changed a little bit. It's not for, not all for the negative. It's just different now. So I, I have some friends that want me to get into um, get me into like Magic Gathering though. So I think I think I would I wouldn't mind playing TCG. That's how it goes in TCG. Yeah, I think I think like the normal rotation of things is that it's like supposed to be like. You have some things that are decent and then it's like they get cycled out or they get banned i i've heard though i've heard in the Yu-Gi-Oh realm i don't know if it's true i heard a bunch of things that were previously banned in the Yu-Gi-Oh realm were unbanned um so they're starting to like make older cards that were previously not usable usable again and that's probably good news but i imagine like it would suck to be like in that group of people who like say like sold a card or got rid of a card and then it's like now it's usable again and now it's super worthwhile change of hearts back and stuff so yeah so 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 i know i know like a lot of these like it's like obviously those cards were banned for good reason like that's insane right um but but i wonder how those play now with everything going on so that that's that's insane to me I, like i want i wonder truly how those dead those those go i one of some of my favorite tiktoks that i'll see though is like the people it'll be like uh you're at a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament deck and it's the guy who's like shuffling and he's like putting cards down how many cards do you have in hand okay and he's like playing he's playing he's playing he's like how many in your graveyard he's like sh shuffling 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 uh yes yes uh yeah, yeah um he's stalling oh it's my turn it's my turn okay Okay, and then like you play a card, you play a trap card or something like that. It's like, of course you play that trap card. Of course you play that trap card. Ah, oh, so cheap. I can't believe you did that. And they're just like, they're like shuffling their hand constantly. Like I was like, that's just every tournament I've ever been to. I swear. <laughs> so I, I I miss I miss those days. But my my son started coming home, and he's like he's like, Dad, can we buy you uh, buy buy Pokemon cards? And I was like I was like, okay. If you want to do this, we can do this. <laughs> Just let me know. Because I remember I tried to introduce him Pokemon and like he wasn't interested at all. But whenever he saw his friends playing, I was like, this is it. This is my moment. <laughs> so I'm working on building him an Urshifu deck. I have like I have like the basically the bare bones of it, but I'm most likely going to be the I'm most likely going to just buy them to like the piece of like the actual cards because now you can just buy the singles. So it's like I feel like I got to do that, you know, um, as much as I love buying him packs, like like as like give him packs as like rewards, I I also like being able to um, have a complete deck because like if when you have something that's incomplete about your deck, it's just so frustrating to have like you just like, oh, this is like if I had this one piece, if I had this one card, it'd be great, and then and then it would all change for the better, I'm sure. But thank you so much, Sosleski, for the uh, for the raid. I really do appreciate it. Right now, we are doing our no movement run challenge. I'm trying to do some no movement run challenges before we get into playing our new game and then we'll hop right back into it. But um, I this run feels underwhelming, so I'm hoping that this one is like secretly goaded. A lot of shops have binders and loose cards. Yeah, that's something I realized about about Pokemon too as well. Um, like later on for sure uh pokemon 
you'd find like a lot of like like random, random people with binders and whatnot um and um i used to buy those like insanely dad Pokemon, dad really running and get his binder from the attic exactly exactly and i showed him i showed him and he just wasn't interested he really wasn't interested the first time i showed him 